Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. It's always nice to sew along with you. Today I am finishing this quilt top that I started in a recent video. I'm going to show you how I did it and also at the end I'll share with you some of the progress on my evening work. I do like to do handwork in the evening and I'll show you some of that. Let's get started. Here are two blocks that I made in a recent video. I have an old vintage quilt and I was trying to figure out how the quilter put it together. So I ended up making a total of 12 blocks. Actually, they're not blocks quite yet, but I joined all of the pieces that I needed. And here is the vintage quilt that inspired the quilt that I'm putting to together today. It's a simplified version of this beautiful vintage quilt. Here is what one of those blocks looks like from my quilt. Here are all 12 blocks. As you can see in the upper right corner, I've got the two blocks that I started with and then I made 10 more blocks. They are not joined together yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to line everything up diagonally. I'm going to be using some white squares between all of these sort of rectangular quilt blocks. And then I'm going to do the tricky part, and that is sewing everything together in rows without getting anything mixed up. So I had to lay it all out first, kind of figure out where things went. And I do call this the most difficult quilt because there is no pattern. I'm just trying to puzzle it together. And some of these rows are kind of long. Now I start out with a very short row, but as you'll see as I go along, I'm going to be joining all of these diagonal rows and trying to keep everything in order.
Once I had all of my long rows complete, I started joining the rows together, starting in that bottom corner, joining everything together, and again, just trying to keep everything in order. Once I had my quilt top complete, I decided to add a border and this border, these border strips are three and a half inches. And before uh, trimming the sides or the outside of this quilt top, I am going to add the border right along those squares. I'll have some triangles hanging off the edge. And I'm gonna wait until after I sew the border on to trim off those excess triangles. I'm laying that border strip right where my seam ends where those two squares come together and i think this helped a little bit um, when you cut a square on the diagonal or you cut those triangles off you have a bias edge so uh, fabric tends to stretch when there's bias and i thought if i waited until i put that border on <clears throat> i wouldn't have as much stretching so i put the border on and then i just trimmed off those triangles that are hanging off behind. And here it is, all complete, really pretty quilt, but I will say it was kind of tricky to put all of these pieces together and keep them oriented correctly. 
but I really like the way this pretty quilt turned out. I mentioned I like to do work in the evening and here's a little needlepoint pin cushion kit that I've been working on. This one I've mainly been working on uh, on some road trips. So I also have this really pretty uh, cruel embroidery that I shared not too long ago, but I have finished it. It's completed and I tried to find a frame. It's a little bit bigger than 12 inches, so I can't find a frame that's just right for it. So I may turn it into a pillow. And last but not least, I have been working on this beautiful applique project that arrived at my house uh, incomplete. So re this week I finished all of the applique and that was a great feeling to get all of this applique completed. There, Some of the fabrics were missing. Uh, there's some little circles there, some gold circles I had to substitute for the gold or yellow print, but I think it'll That'll be fine. Here's another one where I had to substitute. There were not quite enough of those circles with that yellow print, and I did not have uh, a print that was just like that, believe it or not, <laughs> even with all my stash. So I thought I'd show those few things I've been working on in the evening and actually making some progress on those things. So this is again the quilt that the quilt top that I finished and I'm really pleased with how it came out. Thank you for joining me on this little journey trying to figure out how to put it together and I'll see you next time.